everybody, Ryan Jaso here, and we're going to take a couple of minutes today just to discuss this landscape vibrations line, what it is, what they're trying to accomplish, how it compares to the true audio line that we're carrying, and, and where I really see the opportunities for you guys. Um, this, as I see it, is kind of a bridge between the person who who is only focused on lighting and is scared of getting into any other arenas because, well, they built lights into uh, their audio bollards. So if for whatever reason you have a hesitation because, oh, all we do is landscape lighting, we're not interested in, in pretending to be an expert elsewhere, well, well, now you can still be the expert in lighting, um, but then add an audio component too. And, and as... As we've mentioned multiple times, there are still a ton of similarities uh, between the two and a ton of crossovers. So um, this is a really cool line with, with a lot of potential. It's brand new, but I'm really excited about where it can go. Um, so just a super quick breakdown of, of what you're looking at and what they have out now. Um, we got a round three inch bollard with a light on the top is actually a flex link light, so it is a Bluetooth RGBW controllable. And the app is very, very easy to use. That RGBW um, capability can be built into any one of these. So you got your three inch bollard, um, then your three inch square bollard. This has a scoop light, which also really, really cool. Uh, there's your bronze, your black, and then here is a uh, satin finish, a PVD satin finish um, that obviously will look really great on modern homes. This does not have a light in it. You can get these bollards without the light. Um, obviously for our purposes, we're focused on the ones that do have lights, but you can get them without lights. Also, you got a four inch, this guy's, this guy's heavy, man. Um, you got a four inch round bollard in a PVD graphite. This uh, it's like a gunmetal graphite finish, and it is freaking cool. And then they're making these with uh, sconces, wall-mounted sconces. Take a look at that. Um, Uplight, and you can also get it with a downlight option, or vice versa, sorry. The standard comes with just a downlight, and then you can also get it with an uplight. So up-down sconce or just a down sconce. They've got your basic directional speaker, um, kind of like you see with the, the true audio components. And then we've got subwoofers as well. Let me grab this 250 watt subwoofer, actually much smaller than the true audio one. I can, I can hold it up, which I like. The true audios are 400 watts, so they give you more power, but this one is less expensive and much smaller. Uh, if I'm putting it in the ground, which which is really nice because you gotta dig a gigantic hole for the true audio. Um, so finally, our components. Now, these are four ohm systems, meaning you're not gonna be able to daisy chain them like you do with the 70 volt true audio. So you're basically looking at running a lot of home runs, which, which is good for two reasons. Uh, one, you get the true stereo effect, so you can set it up with your left and right channels. Um, two, you actually do get better clarity when you're, when you're setting it up in four 8 ohm systems as opposed to 70 volt systems. Now again, it means your electronics are a little bit more complicated, um, but it's nothing that, that can't be learned within a few hours. And for those of you who aren't aware, we're setting up a training session in Orlando with the guys from Landscape Vibrations, the guys who developed this line on February 19th. We're wrapping that around the AOLP uh, convention. You don't have to be an AOLP member. You don't have to um, attend the convention, even though I'd certainly recommend you do. But if you just want to come by to Orlando for the day, I uh, believe this seminar is from 1 to 5 p.m. on Wednesday the 19th. So we'll go over controls, your, your tuner, how you stream your music, your amplifier, how you, how you can zone um, your music. 
That's the downside to the 70 volt systems is that you can't zone it. I can have uh, six different zones here. Um, so that's pretty cool if I want to have different music going in different areas. And then talk about our, our sub amplifiers too. So there are a lot of things that we're going to discuss on uh, Wednesday the 19th with Landscape Vibrations. And then we're having True Audio come in to discuss their systems on uh, Saturday the 22nd. So same thing, Saturday the 22nd for True Audio. I believe that's from 8 a.m. to noon. So hope you guys have some interest in this product. Um, and if you want to learn more, you all know how to get a hold of me. Thanks, guys.